Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're doing a little Q&A so you can get to know me a little bit better as a content creator, as a full-time content creator actually. I feel like on TikTok you don't really get to see my personality, of course it's like a 60 second video, that's it. So yeah, I went on to Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me some questions, so let's go through them. Okay, the first question is what is my monthly income? Obviously, I'm not gonna reveal that online. I can say as a content creator, it's up and down every single month. So I've only been doing this full time since about Feb. And yeah, it's up and down, it's up and down. Some months are really good, some months might dip down. It literally depends on your views, depends on which brands reach out to you, which brands wanna work with you. It's always up and down, so yeah. One thing I will say is I make more money now than I did working a nine to five job. So yeah, that's all I can let you guys know about my monthly income. What do you think of a nine to five compared to what you're doing now? Explain your journey. The one thing I do miss about having a nine to five is maybe the routine, but you just gotta be disciplined. So I need to tell myself some days, okay, look, get up at nine, be disciplined, work the entire day. Obviously my hours now are flexible, I can work whenever I want to work, but I do find myself working seven days a week, I work on the weekends too. So yeah, it's more work now than a nine to five, but I prefer it because I'm working for myself and everything I'm doing is benefiting me in the long term. You know what I mean? It's not benefiting another company or another, your manager or the CEO of another company, it's benefiting yourself. I'm building my own brand and my own business and all this work I'm doing is building up my own brand. So yeah, you're more motivated to actually want to work, which is what I like explain your journey. Um, okay, let's explain my journey. So yeah, at university I studied an integrated masters in neuroscience. Then I went on to work at a pharmaceutical company called Biogen and they specialize in neurological disorders, particularly Alzheimer's disease, which is the reason I wanted to work there because I did my dissertation on Alzheimer's. I'm just really interested in that disease. This drug that I was working on, it didn't get approved unfortunately. It got approved in America. Um, but it didn't get approved in the UK. So we were working towards getting that drug approved in the UK. I worked in marketing, medical and training, loved my job, loved it so much. But unfortunately the whole team had to be let go because the drug didn't get approved. That didn't work out. And then I was gonna pursue social media content creation full time last summer. But then my friend came to me and said that he's got a job opportunity for me. So he worked at a FinTech company. They were looking for someone to run the social media accounts. So Instagram, TikTok, all of that. Um, they said, do you know anyone? He obviously said me. And I went for a little interview and they were like, yeah, we'd like to hire you. I was like, say less, let's go. Then I worked there until this year, February. And this January, my social media accounts kind of blew up on TikTok. And I thought, you know what? I make more money doing social media. I enjoy it more. And I'm doing that part time. And I was kind of getting tired, like doing a nine to five job, then coming home, getting your TikTok content ready, edited, posted, and then also streaming. So I thought, let me just do this full time and do everything together. And that's my journey and that's where I am. What's your ethnicity? I am Indian, I'm full Indian. So my parents were born in the UK. I was born in the UK, but my grandparents were born in India and Kenya. So yeah, I'm Indian, that's my ethnicity. Okay, I really like this question. How did you start this whole streamer thing, like money for setups and stuff? So it's actually really funny. I started streaming in December, 2021. And when I started streaming, I actually had no camera. So no one could see my face on the stream. And I also didn't even have a PC. I didn't even have a PC to stream from. I didn't have a microphone, yet alone monitors, keyboard, headset, nothing. So I started streaming straight off my PlayStation. Whoops, sorry, that made a loud sound. I started streaming straight off my PlayStation using no camera at all. And then since then, my setup has been building up, building up. So every single donation and every single person who subs to me, all that money I make from Twitch has gone back into my setup to now make it look like this. I'm gonna do a setup tour soon as well, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, so I started streaming off my PlayStation, no camera. Then I started streaming off my MacBook. My poor MacBook man. This poor thing, even though it's a MacBook Pro, I feel so bad for it because it was literally heating up like every single time I streamed, it could not take it. So basically, if you're gonna start streaming, there's no point spending so much money on expensive equipment. Just invest a little bit of money at the start and then build it up over time. What is the most important thing you've learned as a content creator? <sighs> Maybe the importance of being consistent because I notice if I don't post for like a day or two, like, yeah, the views just dip, everyone, everything just dips, especially on Twitch. So I think just being consistent at it. If you're gonna go for it as a content creator, you can't just post like once a week or once a month, you know, you gotta post every single day. What's the good and bad thing is about what you do? Oh, I like that question. Okay, the good thing is I really enjoy it. I love editing videos. I love creating content. I like making people laugh. Uh, there was some young girl the other day who said that she was getting bullied in school. So I gave her some advice and she said that my streams give her comfort every single evening, which I found so cute that people actually just get comfort watching me. So I think that's like one of the best things about what I do is just being able to actually make people's day. What's a bad thing about what I do? I guess it's just you put a lot of your happiness onto views and things like that. So when my views are high, 
I'm happy, I feel like I'm doing well. When my views dip, it's a bit, I'm not complaining about it at all, but that'll probably be one of the bad things about what I do is that my happiness now depends on views and engagement and obviously on social media 24 seven, you know, like before, when I was like feeling down or wanted like a break or my mental health was bad, I like to just turn my phone off and come off social media. You can't do that. So I think one of the bad things is you can't ever switch off. Like you have to be on your phone at all times, you know. How to make Indian parents understand the profession would be great help. That's a really interesting question. So I'm quite lucky. I was born and raised in the UK and my parents were also born and raised in the UK. So they're quite like with it. I'd say they're with it, do you know what I mean? Um, and I think the way I convinced them was they just saw my progress over a few years. I didn't randomly wake up in the beginning and be like, okay guys, I'm quitting my job. I had to show them success from what I was doing before I was able to do that. So they've seen everything I do. They see me streaming every night. They see me working they see how hard I work. They see I work harder now than I did before. Um, they see the results from my TikToks, do you know what I mean? And yeah, so to help them understand, put together a PowerPoint presentation something like that. I did a similar thing, I sat them down and I explained everything, explained how much money I make, explained this, explained that, because obviously that's one of the main issues that South Asian parents might have with, with jobs that are more like creative, like content creation. So yeah, basically write a business plan, but for social media and how you're gonna make it work. Would you ever go on The Apprentice show? Mm, I used to want to when I was younger, but now I don't think I could hack it. I feel like if someone was to shout at me, I'd probably start crying. So no, The Apprentice is not for me. Um, what did you study at university? So I did a integrated masters in neuroscience and I went to UCL. So I was really interested in neurological disorders and mental illnesses and how those diseases affect the brain and the drugs used to cure those or treat, mainly treat, not cure, to treat those diseases. So yeah, that's why I studied neuroscience at university and I specialize in pharmacology and yeah. I just realized I've had this coffee the entire video. I've not even had one sip, wait, coffee sip break. I don't know why I can't sip coffee, I have to like down it. What is your favorite part or aspect of your culture? I just like how family orientated our culture is. So for example, typically in a South Asian household, the girl or the boy or the daughter or the son is not gonna move out of that house until they get married. They stay with their parents, stay with the family. And I quite like that. I think it's quite nice the fact that I'm 23 and I still live at home, but it's nice. And that's how it sort of is in our culture. Favorite Indian sweet. I actually don't like Indian sweets like at all. Actually, no, I do. I like Buffy. I can't pronounce it. Buffy, Buffy. Where are you from? I'm from Slough, which is west of London. I always say it's in London, but I only say that to annoy people. What is your favorite food? Um, my favorite cuisine is Thai food. I love Thai food and I love one dish called Pad Si Il. Best way to stay consistent on social media. Batch film, bulk film your content. So what I used to do um, when I had nine to five is every single Saturday or Sunday, I would plan out my videos throughout the week, write them all down, have a list of everything I need to film. And on the weekend, I would get ready and just film for a good like four or five hours and get all my content done. And then over the week, I would edit the videos every day and just post them. Have you always wanted to be a streamer or was it more of a later thing? I've had the idea in my head for a couple years, but I never actually started it until December 2021. But yeah, I've not always wanted to be a streamer. It was a later thing. I think it was when I was like making TikToks, I just kept thinking like, no one sees my personality much. If I was to Twitch stream, people could chat to me for like two to three hours and actually get to know me properly. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I got a lot more videos coming. I'm so excited now, I've got a new camera, I've got a nice setup. So yeah, I'm gonna be filming a lot more content for you guys. Obviously check out my YouTube shorts and my TikTok channel too. I've linked everything down below. And yeah, if you've got any more questions, comment down below and I will reply to every single question.